Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, the workshop. It's kind of something of a ubiquitous uh, uh, greeting, hasn't it? Uh, so today we have a fairly uh, special event for me. Um, so, uh, as I sh would have shown you on my workshop tour previously, this here, just turn it sideways there so you can see a bit better, is the anvil shaped object that I've been using to do my hammering on. Um, in the background just here is um, a small uh, anvil that a friend of mine had lent me but uh, has since moved into a new place and has decided that he wants it back. So this prompted me to have to switch back to my anvil shaped object, um, which bluntly is not hardened and not hardenable. So it's made of um, a few uh, railway sleeper ties. And I mean, it's serviceable, it provides a flat surface that I can hammer on. I've made uh, several small bits and pieces um, just over there. So I've made a bu bunch of um, uh, two inch rings as just some small practice work for my wife to do macrame on. And I've been making lots of S hooks, which are over there by the door. Uh, but yesterday, I took a drive and picked up this bad boy, which, as you'll see, is a fairly decent sized London pattern anvil with heel and horn. The surface is a nice wide size about four inches wide and in reasonably good condition i need to clean up some of these edges but that's nothing that uh, i can't do and uh in particular so um ref referencing uh alex's video over at um valhalla iron wo works on the uh, topic of buying secondhand an anvils um first of all i'll show you what I'll uh, got my little ball peen here, and uh, this is what the uh, uh, anvil I was borrowing from my friend sounds like, and the rebound. It's got a nice, a, a good amount of rebound um, to it. It's got a, a very nice high pitched ring. It's fairly high pitched, um, I believe, because of the small size, uh, but. Uh, so this is what it sound, what the uh, anvil shaped object sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> no rebound at all. No rebound, no ring, it sound, it's awful. <laughs> Serviceable to work on, not pleasant. And then by contrast, the new anvil, oops up properly got a decent amount of rebound and a reasonably nice sound to, to it I'm quite happy with the per purchase I got it for an absolute bargain given the size um, I'm not sure of the exact weight but uh, moving it around um, I think it's around the 55 60 kilo mark um, but it's a good sort of all-purpose uh, blacksmith's anvil in terms of its sizing and uh, the footprint looks like it's about the right size to um, fit on the same stump I had my ASO mounted on so I'm going to uh, mount that up and then have uh, have at it a bit with the the wire wheel on the angle grinder um, see if I can get that uh, work surface a little bit cleaner it's currently uh, coated in an oil, which feels a bit like a linseed oil um, rub uh, from the previous owner to protect it. Um, the previous owner w ran a um, farm and truck machinery workshop. Um, and 
seems to have very much looked after the equipment he's had. So I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Um, I've got a few ideas on what to name her, but uh, haven't landed on something firm yet. So if anyone viewing does have a, an idea, feel free to um, drop a comment down below and I'll have a look at it. All right, I will be back on after I've done a bit of cleanup work and mounted it up.